Hey, what up y'all, it's me, your boy, Lil D, coming at you, not from the den today, because this is gonna be more of a vlog style video in a series that I'm gonna be doing because I am in my last class of my nursing informatics program. So if you've been following me along, I've been working for the past year, year and a half, towards my MSN in nursing informatics, and I am finally in my last course, the 10th class out of 10. And this class is a little bit different than the previous ones, so I thought I would make vlogs about them and how they're going only because this course is 16 weeks and I need to be putting in 200 hours at the hospital, not at the bedside, but at the hospital with my preceptor. So it is going to be a little bit different. Now before we get into the video though and before I tell you more about what's going on, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe. I post two nursing related videos two times a week here on this page on Wednesdays and Sundays. We are so close to 4,000 subscribers. That's gonna be so awesome. So if you haven't, please, please subscribe. But yeah, let's get straight into it. Now for starters, I wanna say sorry about the audio quality just because it's not what you guys are usually used to here on my page. But this is gonna be more of a vlog style video that way, after I finish doing something, I can just kind of pick up the camera and tell you guys how it went. But believe it or not, my camera that I use for my main videos, it doesn't have a place to hook up a external microphone, such as a Rode mic, which is something that I really want. I film on the Canon G7X Mark II, and I am looking to get a new one. So if you have any recommendations on a new camera that I could buy, where I could hook up a microphone to it, and even if I could hook up a screen to it, go ahead and leave that in the comments down below. But yeah, this is something that I'm really excited for because it's the last class in the program and I'm actually getting in the field with a person in the nursing informatics field to see what they do on a day-to-day -day basis. Because you know, I have met with them on several different occasions trying to understand how their normal work week goes. And I've also made it to the 10th class. And honestly, just with those two things alone, I still did not have a grasp on what the role of an informatics nurse was. But after completing these past two weeks with them, I feel like I'm starting to get an idea. But yeah, if you guys have any questions for an actual nursing informatics nurse, go ahead and leave it in the comments down below because I am meeting with her at least once a week and I can actually ask her because we have a lot of one-on-one -on -one time together. I'm really excited to be finished with school because I'm really excited not to have to write papers, but at the same time, I'm really excited to see what they do on a day-to-day -day basis. My first week of clinicals is all finished, so I ended up putting in eight hours at the hospital with my clinical instructor. Um, we'll be referring to her as my preceptor, and it actually went really good. I'll tell you about the assignments in a second, but I got there at 8 o'clock. Now, it's quite a bit of a drive. It's down in Phoenix, so it's about an hour, 45 minutes away from me, which is kind of different because my commute normally to the hospital that I work at is maybe 15 minutes. So, I don't know if you saw my previous video where I was talking about being scared about leaving the bedside, but after clinicals, I kind of had a little bit of a freak out, just kind of a reality check on what I'm doing and where I'm gonna be once I'm done with all of this. I'm feeling a lot better now, but I just think I was feeling overwhelmed, even though the day at clinical, it went really well. So I did get there at eight. She blocked out some time so we could do introdu introductions and I could tell her what I needed for my class. So we chatted, she introduced me to the rest of the team. She has a cubicle in an office area at the hospital but it's in an office area. So there are probably like 10 people on the team that I met. And like I said, everyone was really accepting and really nice. It really seems like a good team, which is something that I was nervous about. But after that, we shortly, shortly did two, um, two Zoom meetings and then we went to lunch. Now it's definitely not as fast paced or as stressful, it seems like, as bedside nursing. And I think this is what I need because bedside nursing is really stressing me out. And after lunch, as well as after the tour of the hospital, because she kind of walked me around and showed me everything, we just kind of sat down again and I logged on to my student portal for GCU and went over some of the assignments also and asked her more questions. 
but overall I think it's going to be good. I am excited to see what else they do because I know that her schedule changes from a day-to-day -day basis. Once I get my hours though, I have to clock them in, they call it Lopes Activity Tracker at the school that I go to. So I gotta clock the hours and write a little synopsis of what we did that day and then my instructor has to approve it. This first week, I only had two discussion questions and no papers, so we'll see what's in store for next week. I actually know, but I'll tell you how that goes once we get to next week. Wrapping up on my second week of clinical with my preceptor, this week I put in seven hours. Now in total, I believe I'm at 15 hours and I'm really gonna have to step it up with either two times or even three times a week with these clinicals, just because in the end, I'm gonna need 200 hours but this week for a clinical, I met with my preceptor at a different hospital because she does go to a couple different locations. And I did have to get this approved with GCU, Grand Canyon University. So if your preceptor that you're looking into goes to separate hospitals, this is something that you will have to get approved. But we went to this different hospital. We met there at seven and she was actually teaching a class from eight till 12. It was actually the new grad class on how to chart in the EHR, the electronic health record. Now my hospitals and the one that we went to use Cerner. I know other hospitals use Epic or some use Meditech or even some other kinds, but she was teaching a class on the basics on what you need to chart as a new grad nurse. And I thought this was really cool because I do like teaching. I do teach nursing assistant clinicals. So I felt like that would be a really fun part of the job. But after that, we pretty much went and got lunch and we ended up going back to the offices where I met some of the other people on the team. I already met some that morning, but I got to meet the rest of them that afternoon. She ended up just showing me some of the projects that she was working on. And we actually brainstormed on some of the problems that she was facing as a nursing informatics person because people do reach out for her, reach out to her for data and she has to kind of solve these problems for them. Now getting into the assignments for the second week of this practicum. So it looks like every other week I'm gonna have a large project due, which is really nice compared to the previous classes where I've had a large project due every week. And it probably has to do with this being two times as long as a normal class. So this whole program is gonna be 16 weeks. So that's probably why there's a, only a large project every other week. But this week I had a paper that I had to write 750 words to a thousand words along with my two discussion posts and three responses on three different days. I think this is a good place to wrap up the vlog though. And I'll keep making vlogs after each clinical day, after each week within this long course. That way you guys can get an idea of what I do and what you need to do when you get into this class. Make sure you give this video a like and subscribe. Check out one of my other nursing related videos right here and let me know if you have any questions. But so far, I'm looking forward to week three because we're doing something completely different again. And I'll let you guys know how that goes. I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks. Bye.